So are you into the AI stuff yet? I, I gotta say that I'm I'm fascinated by it. Um, I think you can overuse it, and I think ignoring it probably isn't the thing to do. But uh, recently, I asked this question on my community tab on my YouTube channel. I, I said, you know, there's a lot of AI chatter out there. Have you used any of these platforms, AI to text platforms? And I was specifically interested in AI to text. So I asked about ChatGPT, vidIQ, and Canva. You can see right there, 78% of the people uh, have used Chat 22 Canva and like zero vidIQ, which I'm immediately thinking, okay, there's a, there's a video idea. So I thought, hey, let's have a little fun. Let's take four of these AI text generator platform software apps, whatever you want to call them, give them the same prompt and see if they spit out the same thing. So... For this, I came up with three prompts, and this is what I'm going to use. What is the best camera for YouTube? Because, you know, that is the question everybody asks. How can creators make money on YouTube? And then I'm going to ask to give me 10 video ideas about Final Cut Pro. Now, to do this, I think it's very important that the four we're going to use, and we're going to use ChatGPT Playground, which is kind of like a... Um, um, I'll call it a poor man's version of ChatGPT. It seems to work. And uh, we're going to use Canva. And I'll show you how to do Canva. And there's a whole video I've done about how to use Canva's AI. If you want to do that, I'll watch it. I'll put a link to that down in the description. And we're going to use vidIQ. Um, and I'm just curious to see, do we get the same information? Now, I think it is very, we have to do one thing. The prompt has to be worded capitalization everything exactly the same I, I don't want to ask anything differently so we're giving it the same prompt to see what we get back so uh the first prompt what did we say we were going to do we were going to do what is the best camera for youtube all right so we're going to start with this one we're going to start with oops there we go we're going to start with chat GPT 221. I don't know what that is. <laughs> what the heck is that? All right. What is the best camera for YouTube? Now, before I launch this into the give me your responses, I need to move this one over here. I'm going to copy it. So the reason I'm, uh, oops, I'm trying to switch my scenes here. The reason I'm copying it is so I, I'm, I'm not going to retype it every time. That way I know it's the same one. All right, here we go. Ready? And we're here, and hit me. What is the best camera for YouTube? Now, I didn't give it any extra prompts, so, you know, I didn't say. So we can see what it says. Choosing the best camera for YouTube depends on several factors, such as your budget, the type of content you plan to create, and the level of experience you have with cameras, which is true. So now it's spitting out what it thinks is the best. Now, oh, I love this already. The M50 Mark II, that's actually the camera I'm shooting this with. Uh, Sony A6400, Panasonic Lumix, G85, the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Interesting, I also have that one. And ultimately the best camera for YouTube will depend on your specific needs and preferences. It's a good idea to do some research and read reviews from YouTubers to find out camera that works for you now that's that's not bad advice <laughs> i'm just gonna say so we've got that and what i'm gonna do now is go over to and and i'm, I'm not gonna spend the time to to read all through the, the information but let's just see what it got now i'm gonna go next to uh playground and i'm gonna ask the same thing and I'm gonna hit submit. And my, you know, the whole point of this is to see is it gonna give us the same thing? That's it, it's done. Now, if you notice, it's a lot more succinct. It's a difficult question to answer, which, which, hello, hello, which I agree with. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this as live using Ecamm, so I, it's, you know, it's probably going to be as edited as most videos are. But if you think about it, it's a difficult question to answer. Yeah, it is because it depends on budget. But notice the cameras it gave me. Uh, the 80D 
uh, Sony Alpha A6400, the uh, Canon M50, not the M50 Mark II, and the Panasonic. So some different choices there. Okay, so now what I want to go is I want to go to uh, Canva and see what it says. All right, so we're going to go, oops, and we're going to go to Canva. Now, let me let me show you on Canva how you how you get to the AI tool. And again, if you if you want to a little more deep dive into that, just check out the link. But when you when you go to Canva, what you want to do is you're going to go to Doc, and it's called Magic Write, and it's the only way it works. So you want to go here, and you see Magic Write, and now I'm going to paste our question in. And let's see what it says. It's riveting, isn't it? Watching an AI. All right, the best camera for YouTube will depend on your budget and the type of videos you are creating. If you are looking for a budget-friendly option, you may want to consider the Rebel T6i. Great camera, entry-level DSLR. So it gives you more information. Also mentions the ADD. Uh, there's the, oh, see, it gives a different Sony. Uh, but then it also says that no matter what your budget's a good chance out there, a uh, good camera out there for YouTube budget. So, uh, video. So, it, again, it's it's a little different, right? So, now let's go to vidIQ. Where is it? Right here. And vidIQ is AI coach. Now, watch this. Again, I'm going to copy and paste this in here and hit send. And let's see what it says. And... I'm not timing, this is not a test of time to see how fast we get it. Some people are already complaining about how slow chat GPT is. All right, the best camera for YouTube or uh, YouTube really depends on the type of video you're making and your budget. If you're making vlog style, then I'd recommend good quality lightweight camera that is built for vlogging. More complex shot, you may want to invest in a better camera. Video quality and features if you're on a tight budget. Now, here's what I think is interesting. VidIQ talked more about the types of cameras rather than cameras, if you think about it. So if we go all the way back to uh, ChatGPT, there, I mean, they, it, it describes a little bit more of the cameras. Go to Playground, a little bit more Canva, a paragraph. Now keep in mind, Canva's is part of their doc. So I think there's a reason it's more like this because they think you're going to probably create a post with it. But then ChatG, uh, I'm sorry, with, with vidIQ, vidIQ is really geared more toward YouTube. So it gives you a little bit more information. So that's, uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so now let's go to our uh, second prompt, which is how can creators make money on YouTube? All right, so we're going to go right back to ChatGPT and... By the way, I, I cleared the conversations in all of them because as I understand it, part of the way the AI can work is you, you keep in the same conversation so you can refine your prompt, you can ask different things. And I didn't want what we just asked to taint these questions. So I cleared, reset all of them, refresh my browser and stuff like that. So let's go here. We're going to copy and paste. I just already I copied this actually in take the two out because I, I took that the number two all right so now let me copy that and let's see what it says how can creators make money on YouTube now one of the things I'm not doing I'm not asking for a specific number like you know give me five ways or six ways or seven ways so it's gonna be curious to see how long these get so they're telling us through advertising revenue Sponsorships and brand deals, merchandise sales. And by the way, while it's while it's doing its thing, I I purposely decided not to edit this and speed it up just so we can see it uh, kind of in real time. I realize I, I just got off the screen. So it's it's still going. It's still going. I don't know how, how long it's gonna go. Maybe I should have maybe you know, maybe that's one. okay, so it stopped at six. So it's Advertising revenue, sponsorships and brand deals, merchandise sales, fan funding, crowd funding, public speaking. Now, um, so that's that's pretty interesting. So it, it's it's giving you a little bit more like advertising revenue. It explains like YouTube shares a portion 
of the ad revenue generated from ads shown on a creator's videos, part of the partner program. Okay, so let's jump over to Playground and we'll ask it the same question. Now, ChatGPT is still free. I know they've, they've added a, a pay tier. Playground is totally free. Uh, Canva, I think, is part of the free and the paid. I'm on the paid plan. And vidIQ, I think they're still playing with it. It's still in alpha or beta, but I'm also, I think, on the boost plan. So anyway. All right, creators can make money on YouTube by monetizing their videos. This involves enabling ads, earning a portion of the revenue generated from the ads. Additionally, YouTube creators can also earn through the partner program, make money through sponsorships, uh, merchandise sales, and crowdfunding. So I think it's interesting that Playground and ChatGPT are, are the same company, but it seems like Playground is, it just kind of really gives you a, a succinct paragraph, which I did not ask for, and you can do that. All right, so we're gonna go back here. So now let's jump over to Canva. And remember, you have to go to Magic Write on a dock, paste the question, and let's see what it says. And so far, my experience with Canva is that, oh, it's already done. Uh, creators can make money on YouTube utilizing the, <clears throat> excuse me, YouTube Partner Program. Allows the eligible channels to monetize the content, allowing them to earn money from revenue, t-shirts, mugs, and things like that. So again, it's, you know, it's a little bit more paragraphy, again, the, the way it works. But, all right, let's go now to uh, vidIQ, the one called AI Coach, and see what it says. I was actually blown away by how fast uh, Playground and Canva was. Holy cow. All right, vidIQ, making money on YouTube is a key goal for many creators. The options available to creators include ad revenue, sponsorships, affiliate sales, marketing, or merchandise sales, membership programs, donations. Ad revenue is the most common way to make money. This includes the partner program, Google AdSense, and then it gives you a little bit more information like selling merchandise types of. Um, and then finally, YouTube allows you to include a donate link on your channel page, allowing your viewers to support you financially, which I don't remember seeing on any of these. Very, very interesting that, again, vidIQ is supposed to be a little bit more tailored to YouTube. Okay, it's time for our third prompt, which is give me 10 video ideas about Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna start again with ChatGPT. I've got my question, copy paste. Again, because I want each one that we're using, ChatGPT, Playground, Canva, and uh, vidIQ to get the exact same prompt. 10 video ideas. Now, specifically for this one, I asked for 10 video ideas. Um, and I realize you can dive down a little bit more. Uh, basic introduction to Final Cut Pro. And, you know, while it's uh, while it's spitting out the thing, I, you know, since I do videos about Final Cut Pro and use Final Cut Pro, this is actually a prompt that I would use as well, too, just to see what, what are some ideas out there. Still working, because I told it 10. Uh, basic introduction, advanced editing techniques, how to color grade, and then they even give you a little information. So creating uh, visual effects. Uh, let's look at that one. Uh, a guide to using visual effects and motion graphics in your video project. So it's not even just a list it's or ideas. It's actually, it gives me a little bit more like multicam editing in Final Cut Pro, how to edit footage from multiple cameras and angles using Final Cut Pro's multicam feature. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go to Playground. Same question, do your thing, man. Introduction. All right, so now this one is actually more of just a list. Um, advanced edit techniques, how to export and share your Final Cut Pro projects, Final Cut tips, and so you know, th this, is, this is not bad either because it's more of a basic list, all right? So we'll activate magic, right? Ask the question, hit it, and Spin, spin, spin. Now, you know, my gut is this: these takes time. That take time based on how many other people are using them. Internet connection. All right. Again, gave me a list. Getting started with Final Cut Pro: A Beginner's Guide. Final Cut Pro editing tips and tricks. How to create. Now, you know what I think is interesting here is that it almost 
I haven't seen this in Canva before. It phrases them like titles. So it's really, go really going to be interesting to see then how vidIQ does. Uh, working with motion graphics, creating spe special effects in Final Cut Pro, uh, Final Cut Pro workflows for faster editing. Really cool. All right, now, finally, we're going to go to uh, vidIQ and... All right, hit me. Tell me. Again, vidIQ, as I understand it, is more YouTube-centric. How to make a professional video with Final Cut Pro. Top five Final Cut Pro editing tips. Beginner's Guide to Final Cut Pro. Uh, Final Cut Pro tips and tricks. We saw that in Canva. Uh, exporting and rendering in Final Cut Pro. Hmm. The best plugins for Final Cut Pro. Okay, interesting, interesting. So again, if we go back backwards, um, you get kind of a different list, more of a list, and then yet ChatGPT a list, but on top of that, then uh, they kind of, you know, gave you a little bit more information. So I don't know. What what did you think? I mean, I, I'm i I'm kind of intrigued by all of this. Uh, I, I've been using vidIQ a lot more lately because, uh, you know, I know it's more tailored to YouTube. And so therefore, since I'm doing YouTube, it's my core channel, it's like, well, let me, let me, get a little bit more in there, and it'll do a lot more. I've done a video on it. I'm going to do probably more videos on that, especially since, according to the survey, nobody had even used it. So if you're interested in using vidIQ, there's a link to that down in the, in the, uh, in the description, as well as Canva, too. What do you think? Are they all the same? Are they different? Are you even using them? I don't know. But, hey, I am Kevin Colby. Thank you so much for watching this, and keep creating, because the world needs you. See you next time.